All right. So I'm kind of late to this. Um. So yeah, I'm kind of late to this uh, article that happened a couple of days ago. It kind of happened three days ago, but late's better than ever. So I guess let's go on with this video. So recently, there's been a foul. Uh, there's been a complete uh, lawsuit uh, filed against Roblox uh, for accused of deceptive marketing in complaint to the FTC, which is um, Roblox has been accused for using deceptive marketing, and they complained and some someone has complained to um, to the FTC. Now it says right here, Ad Watchdog Tina claims the platform lacks suffocate guard tails in form in the form of consumers. Now, what this basically means is that Tina is a non-profit organization um, that goes out and tries to um, stop like bad, like uh, bad marketing skills uh, to kids. I think, or it's like I think people or kids, one of those two things. And that Roblox is um, Roblox is sponsor page. Um, when they have Roblox sponsor events, they don't really say that it's like an ad. They don't really say. It. Uh, so yeah, Tina is filing, I think, a, lo a lawsuit against Roblox to the FTC, to the Federal Trade Commission, that Roblox is is using deceptive, deceptive, uh, deceptive advertisement. I don't know how to pronounce it. Deceptive uh, marketing advertisement, which means that whenever like you go to these games like Nike, Honda, T-Mobile, like those recent sponsored Roblox events, we all know, Roblox doesn't put it as sponsored. It always just says, oh, like. Well, a new game, like, you can collect these stuff. They don't put it as a sponsor, which, that's kind of like, it's it's a sponsor. I don't know why Roblox doesn't put it in, a, in the first place. Always on YouTube, whenever you're getting paid, uh, and whenever you're getting paid by a product, or you're getting sponsored by a company, you always gotta put, you always gotta, like, click that checkbox that always says that you're being sponsored by someone, or this is, this video is by, is being paid by paid promotion. So, anyway, along those lines. And Roblox doesn't, like, have, like, doesn't say that it's ad. They don't put a hashtag ad like every single YouTuber or influencer does nowadays to, like, protect themselves and, like, to pe to let people know it's an ad. And it says right here that, but the platform, uh, little enforces, uh, the policy that Tina says brands, uh, brands. Tina says brands have also allegedly entered, uh, erratic, I don't know pronounce it, games on Roblox without expressing, disclosing, or the appearance as a sponsor event according to the complaint. So yeah, and that uh, YouTubers have been promoting, uh, and they also say right here that virtual influencers are expected to stake a large claim as creators in the metaverse. Like along, I think something along those lines of like, um, there's like saw earlier, like, um, I like, I was reading a different article where like, YouTubers were being paid, uh, you know, YouTubers reviewed the writing, they were being paid, Roblox YouTubers were being paid, reviewed, and uh, they didn't disclose it as an ad, but if you go out to the actual video, it is disclosed as an ad. And yeah, so it says right here, Tina also cited that Roblox misleads consumers into thinking that they can make large sums of money by being developers when the likelihood of such an appearance low. The system of earning Roblox a platform and yeah, it's blah blah blah, so like, I guess like I think I don't know what they mean by this point. I think I guess they seem anyone can think they can be like make a lot of money, but not really. I don't know what the, I don't know what that means. But yeah, this company uh organization called Tina is uh, suing Roblox and or complaining to FTC uh about Roblox deceptive advertisement. I did see from one of the, from one of the videos I was watching that talked about this uh about this lawsuit and all that stuff that is also happening in Roblox games. But I assume this is only happening to um. To Roblox sponsor events because they Roblox can't really control anything that's being paid. So like if a game like Meep City or like not Meep City, Adopt Me or Jailbreak got a paid promotion and they didn't put that, they I don't think Roblox can be interpreted. They just have to be held. I guess they just have to take actions. I guess I don't know because it again it's all a Wild West. But for Roblox right here, Roblox right here, I mean, uh, they have to disclose it as an ad. And I don't know why they don't, they don't do that because it's obviously an ad. We all know it's an ad. I mean, I guess for the little kids, they don't know for that. But yeah, that's the whole video. I don't have to talk about it. Um, hopefully, something changes about these sponsor ads. Hopefully, we get less of them. You know, I kind of, yeah, I don't like these Roblox sp trash sponsor events. They don't, they're not great. Right, I guess I don't like it. So I hope this kind of like this. There is a, this really is gonna like down populate the the um, down populate the uh, the sponsor events. But at least ho hopefully they disclose it as an ad, like everyone else is disclosing as an ad. And yeah, that's the whole video. Uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Uh, yeah, goodbye. And hope and y'all, I'm also expecting Roblox to get sued next month since uh, like it's the end of April. They got sued last month, I think. They, yeah, I think they got sued last month, so I'm expecting for another lawsuit to happen in May. 
video. Alright, see you later. Goodbye.